going to ask you a series of control questions. Are you currently in a seated position? Yes. Do you feel pain? My body does. Are you human? My body is. Are you aware of an impending attack on the planet Earth? You should let me go. I should have just let him go. Hey everyone, Brandon here, and today I'm going to review a sci-fi movie that's, well, all I can say it's decent. This is my review on The Day the Earth Stood Still. Now, this is obviously a remake to the 1951 classic with the same name, which is named one of the greatest sci-fi films ever. The story starts off following an alien who lands on Earth. His name is Klaatu, and he goes off to tell a message to the world saying that the planet is dying, and that the only way to save the planet is to kill the people who are responsible for dying, which is the entire human race. So now it's up to a single mom and her son to try and convince Klaatu that the human race can change and they can still save the planet before the extermination begins. What can I say about this film? It, it was decent. It wasn't bad, but it also wasn't great either. It was okay. The acting was good. I mean, Keanu Reeves, everyone has said over and over again that Keanu Reeves barely shows any emotion in the movies that he's in. And they're right. But in the case of the role of Klaatu, I, th I thought it worked. Now, pointing out what the angry video game nerd said, or James Rolfe, that Klaatu's just an alien who doesn't really show any emotion because he doesn't know what they are. He doesn't have any feelings. All he has is a human body. And the other actors did good as well. Jennifer Conley was in this film. She, she worked out, okay. And also Kathy Bates was in here as a supporting actor, and it's always a delight to see her. Another point I had to give to this film is his use of special effects. I mean, it looks great, especially on that giant robot Gort. And I think that fans of the 1951 version only saw the remake just so they can see Gort, because he looks better than ever. There are some minor annoyances I have with this movie. I mean, one of them being Jaden Smith's character, Jacob. Now, Jaden wasn't bad, but his character I found kind of annoying at times. I mean, the moment that he finds out that Klaatu is the alien that the government is looking for, he automatically goes, Well, what are we doing, Mom? Why are we helping this guy out? We shouldn't be helping him. We gotta kill him. We gotta give him to the government. It's, I don't know, it's just a little personal annoyance, and it kind of shows that moral that we fear what we don't truly understand. Besides that, there's nothing really much else to say about this movie. I mean, I can't really compare it to the 1951 version of The Day the Earth Stood Still because I never saw that movie. And my brother actually has some opinions about this as well. He says that this remake will end up just like that remake to the War of the Worlds. That War of the Worlds was a great movie, but unfortunately no one really remembers it. But here's the thing though, I think War of the Worlds is 10 times better than this remake. But unfortunately, yeah, this movie will suffer the same fate that movie did as well. No one's going to remember it. And this is just a film that you see the trailer for, you get really hyped up for it, but then when you finally go see it, you're disappointed with the outcome. Now again, this is not a bad movie at all. But the thing is, it could have been done so much better. In the end, if you still want to see this movie, rent it. Don't buy it, because I think some people will feel really cheated if they buy this film. It's a good time waster, and it's a pretty decent film. So with that, I'd like to thank you all for watching this review. I'd like to thank BloodfangWolf23, or Anna, for the request, which she did a while ago. And I'll see you all next time. If the Earth dies, you die. If you die... The Earth survives. Well, everyone, that's it. I finished my whole summer movie review list, from Animal Limpets to The Day the Earth Stood Still Remake. Now, it's been fun. I mean, it's been two months of nothing but summer and fun, but unfortunately, just like a lot of other people, I need to start getting ready for school. And I would just have to say that, because with school, um, reviews might be taking a little bit longer to come out, so I apologize for that. And so with that, I hope you all had a great summer, and I'm going to end this thing right. Ladies and gentlemen, Sheena Easton.